Hello, my name is Mayor Frank McGee, and I'm joined by our health officer, Candace Davenport. Over the last couple of weeks, we have been faced with the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. It has impacted all of our households, all of our lives, and our entire community. What we'd like to do right now is provide you with some information regarding COVID-19, things you should know, things we hope that you will learn for your better good and judgment. Thank you so much, and please listen as we move forward. Ms. Davenport, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Mayor McGee. I really appreciate it. As you know, the COVID-19 coronavirus has impacted us all. If there were a few things that our residents should know, what would they be? One of the things I'd like residents to know is thank you for staying home. Um, it is super important that everyone keeps their social distance of six feet from anyone who is not in your household contact and to stay home and only go out for essential needs only. This is in particularly important if you are sick or showing symptoms. We are learning a lot from the coronavirus. Um, some of the symptoms that we originally had said of cough and fever still apply, but we're also learning that people can have chest tightness, shortness of breath, diarrhea, um, vomiting, and other symptoms such as that. So anyone who starts to feel sick should stay home, but everyone should stay home and reduce their exposure as much as possible. Ms. Davenport, lately uh, the weather's been getting warm and a lot of people are taking to our parks. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when you are staying at home uh, for an extended period of time, you can get some of cabin fever. Are there any recommendations you have for those who do decide to visit our public parks? One of the things that I'd like to emphasize to everyone is to keep a safe distance from one another. Anyone who's not of your household contact, you should stay six feet or greater. Um, if you want to get some fresh air, it's super important to do so, especially in, to enjoy the weather and get out of uh, the craziness of staying at home for long periods of time. But you definitely need to keep a six feet distance from one another and reduce your exposure to public gatherings or settings with more than five people. Thank you for that. I think the key point is obviously people outside of your household, we should practice social distancing, mm -hmm. which is a minimum of six feet apart. Yes. And let me ask you another question. If um, you are an individual who um, is, uh, you know, test positive for the coronavirus, what necessary precautions should you take? Absolutely. So if you test positive for the coronavirus, we ask you to stay home and self-isolate from your household contacts. That means that you should stay away and sequester yourself into a room so that your other family members who may not be symptomatic at the time um, will not be exposed. We ask you also, if you are symptomatic, to stay at home and then wait an additional three days until you're symptom-free before you can remove yourself from self-isolation. For your home household residents um, and your family members who are not symptomatic, they should stay in quarantine. Quarantine means that you don't show symptoms, but you may have been exposed. And so what you wanna do is wait 14 days of quarantine after the initial person feels better. That's a period of incubation period for the coronavirus, and it's more of a wait and see period to see if you will get sick. During that time of quarantine, you should not go out um, and limit your contact with other people. That's good to know. So in the household, if you do uh, test positive for coronavirus, it activates the whole household to do these measures yes. where you as the person who has the virus should isolate yourself from your others, mm -hmm. but the others too, uh, should be, um, and I think it's called self-monitoring, correct? Correct. That's a good point, Mayor McGee. One of the things that the people should do while they're self-quarantining is to take their temperature twice a day. Excellent. You want to monitor the temperature um, and your fee uh, for fever and other symptoms. One of the things that we also want to tell people is that there is a lag time between testing and the results. So if you're feeling symptomatic, the same rules apply. Stay at home if you're sick, self-isolate until you find out the results and remove and distance yourself from others and restrict your contact with others, especially if you are showing symptoms. You mentioned symptoms. I know we've had some questions about symptoms. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we know some of the basic ones with the fever and the cough, the mm -hmm. chills. Yes. Um, what about those who 
uh, have may may have other symptoms or think they have coronavirus. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any thoughts on that? So each person will manifest their symptoms very differently. Some people will have a fever and a cough. Some people will have just a cough and no fever. Some people may not show any of those symptoms but have chills, body aches, and diarrhea as some of the first and initial symptoms. If you do feel sick, you should call your healthcare provider and see if they have a test for coronavirus. If they do not, you can try an urgent care center and they can provide you with a test as well. We also have a site, a testing site for um, Essex County residents yes. at Weequack Park in Newark, and that's open tomorrow as well as Monday, Wednesday, Friday of next week. And they'll be able to test uh, 300 test kits per day. That's great, Candace. Um, so as Ms. Davenport said, we have a test site available uh, for the uh, citizens or residents of Essex County. Uh, it's located in Newark. Uh, and as we understand it now, it's open on Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday. Today is Friday. Uh, and also Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of next week. So that would be late March into early April. And it will be hopefully open moving forward from there. Now, I believe there is a website in which we could reach out to if we're interested in um, uh, finding out we can get an appointment. Do you happen to know that website? Absolutely. So in order to go to the Essex County testing site, you should register on www.essexcovid.org. That's E-S-S-E-X-C-O-V-I-D dot O-R-G. Thank you, Ms. Davenport. So I also want to recommend that you go to uh, our township website and visit our COVID-19 page. There's a lot of information on there from our state, from the CDC, as well as from our health officer, Ms. Davenport and her team. Um, we're all in this together. Uh, we need to work together um, and be nice to each other, respect each other. Please understand that as the cases come in that Ms. Davenport and her team are doing everything they can in their power to serve those residents in need. And speaking of our residents, please be mindful of our seniors and for those with chronic health conditions. They right now are most vulnerable. And this is a disease or a virus, excuse me, that has no boundaries. It doesn't care how much money is in your bank account, how tall you are, what your skin color is, or your sexual orientation. This is a virus that will strike and is fatal. So let's work together as a community. Let's work together as Maplewood. And we love you. Ms. Davenport, if a resident has taken the test and is waiting for their results mm -hmm. and they have family members in the household, what should those family members do in terms of socializing uh, with the public? Okay, that's a very good question. Testing for the COVID-19 virus can take up to three to five days or almost seven days to get the results. During that time, if you have symptoms of COVID-19, you should self-isolate. And everyone in your home should self-quarantine. Self-quarantine means you don't show symptoms, but it's more of a wait and see period. When you're in self-quarantine, all the family members should greatly limit their exposure to anyone outside of their household. You can go out for essential needs, but make it ever so brief. Please don't socialize with others. Please limit your contact with others while you're under, under the self-quarantine period. If you show symptoms and develop symptoms, please self-isolate yourself from others, which means to restrict mm -hmm. your encounters with anyone outside of your household and keep a social distance to protect the other members of your family. Thank you. I think that's very important. I think we learned a lot understanding what that means when you're in that process and waiting for the results. There's a lot of questions in our community and I wanted to give you the opportunity to help us address them and ease some concerns and raise the awareness of information regarding COVID-19 coronavirus. If I tested positive for COVID-19, mm -hmm. what should I do? Okay. If you tested positive for coronavirus, you must stay at home and self-isolate. 
This means stay in a bedroom that's different from others in your home, and if possible, use a separate bathroom. You must self-isolate for at least three days or 72 hours have passed since you had fever without the use of fever-reducing medications and other symptoms are greatly improved. And at least seven days have passed since your symptoms first started. If you live with other people and they were not tested, they should keep their distance from you. This includes not eating meals together and not sitting around the house together. Practice social distancing even at home as much as possible. That is to stay at least six feet from each other while you're symptomatic. Thank you. And what should people do who live in my home? What do they need to know? I think it's one of the big questions like, okay, someone's tested positive in my home. Mm -hmm. I'm in this home. What do I do in, inside the household? Right. If they are symptomatic or sick with COVID-19, they should also self-isolate for three days or 72 hours until they are fever-free without the use of fever-reducing medication and other symptoms are greatly improved. And at least seven days have passed since symptoms first started. If the symptoms are mild, they should recover at home. If the symptoms worsen and a medical evaluation is needed, please call your healthcare provider. If they are asymptomatic or not sick, which means they do not have COVID-19 symptoms, they should self-quarantine for 14 days after any sick person in the household self-isolation period ends. If the symptomatic, asymptomatic person excuse me, develops symptoms, they should follow the self-isolation instructions. Symptoms may take two to 14 days to appear. It is important to monitor their health long enough to ensure that they do not develop symptoms. One of the most important things to do is take your temperature twice a day while you're in a self-quarantine period. What is the difference, when we talk about symptoms, what is the difference between mild symptoms and, and moderate symptoms? Okay, that's a good question. Mild symptoms are when you feel unwell, mm -hmm. but can stay home and manage your symptoms at home. Most people with mild symptoms can recover from home. Moderate symptoms are those where you may need a medical evaluation from your healthcare provider, such as shortness of breath or chest tightness, if your symptoms worsen over time and do not get better, especially if you have trouble breathing, please call your healthcare provider to determine next steps. Thank you for that, Ms. Davenport. You know, the other question I have is that, you know, should I tell other people that I've been exposed to COVID-19? Hmm. Those who have been closest to you for a period of a prolonged period of time are going to be at highest risk. Household members and others with whom you spent a long period of time, which means more than 10 minutes, or within six feet of you, or shared a meal, would be those at risk, increased risk, and should be advised to self-quarantine at their home for 14 days after they've had contact with you, or any sick household member's self-isolation period ends. If the asymptomatic person develops symptoms, they should follow the self-isolation guidelines, which means to stay home for three days after being symptom-free. People who did not spend a prolonged period of time with a symptomatic person, such as being within six feet of a person or spending more than 10 minutes with them, are at much lower risk. This would include people you may have been in indoor space for a long period of time, for a prolonged period of time. They should monitor their health, but no restrictions about where they go. Again, this applies to those who are in low risk. Everyone should wash hands often and practice social distancing. If possible, you should notify individuals above regarding your illness. You should notify individuals regarding your illness. Work or school supervisors may be informed to help with this process. People who you may casually come into contact with, pass by in the hall, briefly spend time with in a room, uh, shared a short elevator ride, are not considered to be at risk and do not need to be contacted. For general information about COVID-19, residents can call 1-800-222-1222 or the 211 hotline. They can also go to njcovid19.nj.gov yes. or nj.gov slash health for more information. They can also visit our website at www.twp.maplewood.nj.us slash COVID-19. Thank you, Ms. Davenport. 
Fellow citizens, it's a lot of information, I know, but this is most important information for you to obtain because it's coming from your health officer. Please, again, visit the websites, which we've already communicated. You can dial 211. There's also an 800 number, 800-222-1222. You can call that number as well to get information regarding COVID-19 coronavirus. I want to talk a little bit about COVID-19 coronavirus in relation to the testing mm -hmm. and in the event that I tested negative. So if I tested negative for COVID-19, what do I do next? Okay. If you tested negative for COVID-19, the recommendation is to stay home and practice social distancing until 72 hours after your fever has ended without the use of fever reducing medication and other symptoms improve. After this time, you may resume your regular activities, but still please, please practice social distancing of six feet from others. What if I tested negative though, but I still feel sick? Okay. If you tested negative for COVID-19, but you still have symptoms, it is likely you may have another respiratory virus. You should continue to self-isolate yourself from others. Please practice good hand hygiene and clean and disinfect the surfaces in your home. If your symptoms worsen or don't get better after several days, please call your healthcare provider. You should not return to work or school until 72 hours after your fever has ended without the use of fever reducing medication and your other symptoms have improved. Thank you for that. Um, what other actions should I take uh, to, protect, to protect my health? I mean, what else guys should I do? Okay. As long as the virus that causes COVID-19 is spreading in our community, please continue to practice social distancing that's six feet from everyone who is not in your household contact. Please wash your hands often and regularly, especially after being in public spaces, and avoid touching your face with unclean hands. Please clean and disinfect high touch surfaces daily in your household, which are common areas like tables, chairs, doorknobs, um, laptops, uh, keyboards, light switches, and toilets and sinks and phones. Thank you. So Maplewood residents, please take these precautionary measures. Even if you test negative, please be mindful of your hygiene, wash your hands, practice social distancing. This is very important as we continue to fight against COVID-19 coronavirus. Thank you so much. Be safe.